Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I urge rejection of this bill, and the reason for it is uh, twofold. First, it does add more spending. Uh, it does the $274,000 roughly for 09, and then for 010 and 011, it binds us to a larger figure as a result of that. Mr. President, we can't afford any new spending. We're here for reductions, not increases, Mr. President. There was some talk that there might be husky money that offsets this, although there's nothing in the fiscal notes to suggest that. And we know how many people are on husky this is going to affect, whether they're eligible. None of that information. And maybe this is a good idea. But then that's why we have a public hearing. We have a public hearing so people can come in we could see the evidence before us, and then we can make a decision. But nobody here has had a public hearing on this issue. That group that has suggested that they needed this help hasn't presented the books and records in front of us. Nothing. All we, we only have a fiscal note that even suggests that's what's going on. So we've come in here for a deficit mitigation plan to reduce the deficit, and we're leaving with increased spending, not only in 2009, but in future years. That, to me, just makes no sense whatsoever. We talk about transparency of government. We talk about fairness in contracting. We talk about equality. Here we have someone who bid on the job, got the job, changing the rules, and we're going to bail him out. What about the other bidder? Maybe he would have kept it to the bargain. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't fall within the fair play rules that we hold so dear in this chamber. The second reason why I voice an objection is it just doesn't go far enough. At the end of the day, we're still left with a $100 million deficit. And to say we did our job is really not being all that truthful with our constituency. We're here to get rid of the deficit, not just leave stuff on the table at the end of the day. We need to plug the hole that we have identified by OFA and OPM, and we haven't done that, let alone the other numbers that are floating out there that are mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. I don't know how we even get to that. And we don't even have the gumption to take $2.9 million of slush fund money and throw it into the pot where it affects nobody other than us. And we won't do it. There's nobody who's going to sit outside and protest or call us or email us or get angry with us over 2.9 million. And we won't even do that. And that is really, really easy. So, Mr. President, I urge rejection. I accept the notion that we need to get together. But I accept this notion of that. We need to get together not to hear the plan that one side of the aisle is presenting but to be a part of the plan that's being presented. And that's what's missing. That's what's missing. We've been called together for meetings and saying this is what we're doing, not called together for meetings and say what can we do together. And we should be doing it together because that's the only way you're going to get a solution. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, sir.